Hi guys, this is Emno and we are back playing Hearts of Iron 4 as Romania with Default Dishonor DLC. Uh, one small adjustment, uh, I've looked through the achievements between the episodes and I realized that I remembered the Death or Dishonor or Cake wrong. It uh, actually requires us to get a slice, so to speak, of everything around us, which is Poland, Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, uh, Kingdom of Hungary, uh, Soviet Union and Bulgaria. Uh, the Czechoslovakia may be difficult actually, because, well, um, unless we really, really, really rush split Czechoslovakia a bit, uh, which would require rushing Hungarian a bit, uh, yet. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, if we'll get uh, anything out of it, but uh, our goal is going to be, I think, to, uh, well, for to make, uh, to, to have the biggest chance of actually achieving our goal, we'll need to conquer uh, Romania rather than get them through the uh, through the focus tree because uh, the most likely uh, option here is that they will simply become our puppet and uh, to do the whole thing we would have to fast forward to like 1950 to uh, annex them via the whole subject system, but that seems like that. Uh, comma situ uh, comma inducing situation so we'll attempt to just justify uh, against them and Bulgaria uh, as fast as possible try to sneak uh, sneak that in before there will be any guarantees from the allies then we will rush for split uh, Czechoslovakia just to uh, make sure we'll get the bit uh, next one on the chopping block is going to be Yugoslavia. Oh, they are guaranteeing each other, but that is not going to last, so uh, pay no attention to that. And uh, yeah, and the rest we should be, well, and that, that's about it. Uh, Soviet Union, well, in uh, at the Barbarossa, same goes with a bit of Poland. We'll get uh, it uh, during Barbarossa, I think. So, that's the goal. It's, well, it's going to be luck dependent because uh, there is a chance that Yugoslavia, for example, will simply agree to our demands and uh, just splits into five different countries uh, and all of them will become our puppets, which is very, very annoying and a massive border gore. So we don't want that. Uh, but yeah, and there is a chance that they will guarantee Hungary, which is going to be once again fairly annoying and that happens and having to go through that whole puppeting thing uh, will probably uh, make it so that we wouldn't be able to get a piece of uh, Czechoslovakia anyway. Uh -huh -huh. Now it's August so this is still pretty heavily out of time, An additional 69% as you can see. We could start working on one of our doctrines. Uh, problem is that, uh, well, we've, if we uh, got to do all the um, all all those justifications here, that will eat quite a lot of our political power, and we won't be able to uh, afford uh, military tourists uh, anytime soon. So mm. uh, let's see. I'm not sure what is the best cause of the action here, but yeah, but um, what else can we, um, can we tech? Armor and uh, not so much, although we do have a little bit of... The problem is that we wouldn't really be able to get uh, proper planes out of Germany until we get... Uh, um, yeah, so you see that tank difference from equipment, minus 35%. Uh, I'm not sure how this is calculated, but it's sometimes 30, sometimes 35%. But point is that even uh, if we join Axis, uh, that's uh, our positive... Uh, well, un until we join Axis, once we get uh, become fascists and get 100 uh, opinion, we'll be at 30 positive, which is not enough, because the 
and, and the tag difference itself is 35. So we would have to join axis to get another 10 uh, to surpass that. And only then we would be able to get, uh, get the licensing thing going for us. Uh, so it may not be the worst idea ever to actually start uh, investing in our own airplanes, at least, you know, at least one of them. Uh, so, uh, but I think that's a bit prematurely, especially since we will be switching to, to those decks very, very soon. So, uh, at the same time, what, what doctrine do we want? Uh, we will have uh, things go properly. We will, and we'll gobble up most of the Balkans. We will have a very decent amount of, uh, Industrial capacity compared to our work um, travel population manpower here. Um, I think uh, simply going for a superior firepower is the uh, is the better better option here. Uh, yeah, and some additional breakthrough from infantry and additional soft attack here isn't tolerable either. But considering, okay, considering that we will get those amazing bonuses for our infantry, a uh, getting uh, simply raw stats from superior firepower is well superior, because uh, our base will be much higher, and this uh, this way we would be adding just more multipliers uh, to it. So yes, superior firepower to this. That's the one. I, I kind of wish that they would split those into, into you know, different resources. Because it's, it's more often than not, you actually want some of your uh, resources to be, to be low because, I mean, it's, it's not worth, uh, it's not worth it to spend a single factory to uh, reduce 5% uh, penalty on our uh, artillery production. But it, if, Supplementary budget went away. Very well, so uh, one more thing you can consider if you want to play safe, uh, it's probably better to just go those two and Balkan dominance and get those three factories. But uh, uh, since we want to go for that specific uh, achievement, we kind of have to play greedy, I think. So we'll grab the uh, the fascist government before we and we get factories. But uh, it's it's a it's a very powerful thing because well, that basically uh, increases our factories by uh, like what forty percent in seventy days. So very nice option. <laughs> Once again, uh, the the option of have just picking the uh, the research slot seems seems like a, an obvious one, but uh, not quite in this uh, in this situation. It's actually ranks third among our current options. Okay, well we are slowly but surely building up that uh, that infantry base. Which of course means that most of our old divisions are awfully, awfully supplied, but uh, should be alright. At least we have some divisions, they have like, what, 5? Well, 10, so yeah. We are 33, I think we can handle it. Uh, as for them, it's uh, around 15 divisions. Uh, we can handle both, perhaps not at the very same time, but... Well, shall see. And once again, King throws a lavish party, so this is the same one. And once again, since we are desperate for political power, we sadly have to um, give up our civilian factories. Uh, we can modify the government, but of course we want to wait for uh, turn for becoming fascists. Uh, 
if we could afford uh, something else, and by something else I mean, uh, for example, one of those guys, in terms of how much political power we have, we should. Uh, but I think, we, uh, let's see. Uh, we need 150 to switch. I think we'll have to switch to partial mobilization rather than uh, wait for the 15 here to get the war economy because th this is gonna be a while. And uh, so that's 150. We will need to get uh, military theorists, so that's another uh, 150. And that's those are things before. Uh, Actually, yes, it's pretty, it's before we need military high command. Of course, that would make our victory in those early wars much easier, but uh, yeah, I think we can handle it with that. Of, and once again, of course, that would uh, make us uh, save up quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of political power. But uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we. I think we really need the military to our tiers first. Now when I think about it. Mm. Yeah, probably so. Mm -hmm. Because, well, once again, once the fascist overthrow of the government uh, triggers, we lose the, the camera leader, so... It's what, 30? Okay, anti comintern Pact, yes, we are going to join anti comintern Pact. We want to get chummy with uh, the Soviets. And now we will grab those three factories here. Uh, we cannot justify quite yet. Uh, okay, let's consider this once again. Uh, well, if we were to pick that, that would leave us with, what, 20 political... 22 political power and then mm, we need to justify that wouldn't be enough to justify for, on both of those so we'll have to first justify then then pick uh, one of those no we cannot uh, we cannot afford uh, taking those guys we would uh, have to wait for our economic law change way too long not worth it and there should be an event triggering uh, very soon because our support is 53, uh, 53. So hopefully we'll get the option uh, to switch the government uh, by peaceful means. Okay, first in January, let's switch that to uh, machine tools. I think first. Yes, machine tools, and uh, once those finish, we'll put them on. Uh, other two um, industrial uh, things, which is uh, factories and construction. Uh, now, well, still cannot change this, of course. So the problem here is that, uh, well, once we get fascists, we can outright go on uh, this, because there, there's no requirements of um, having more tension. As for war economy, uh, no matter what, the war tension needs to be 15%, sadly, so we won't be able to do it outright. So we we'll probably have to do it in a two-step fashion. I don't know, we'll, we'll see when we get there. How far is Japan? Okay, let's see. Yeah, that they will need another yeah, half a year at least for the going to war. Now. More, more than that, they go in 38. Okay, now, yes, so if the people want it, we'll hold the referendum, and this way we are now fascists. Uh, uh -huh. So now we can justify a war goal here. That's 36. And then on the back of that, we can start justifying another one, but that's, uh, that's more expensive because we are justifying a second one, ongoing war justification. But we kind of have to. Uh, reason being that uh, by the time we would uh, just do this, finish the war, and start justifying another one, and the war tension will be high enough for uh, allies to start uh, guaranteeing. I'm not 100% certain that they won't be able to guarantee us, uh, guarantee them in time, but this is our only 
this is the only sure way. Well, the most likely way, I think, for this to work. So we are just going to go with that. And there will be those uh, spammy events about justifications that we are not going to read them. They are always the same. There we go. Mm. So we'll get this free factory very shortly, and I think what we'll do, do about that is uh, simply get uh, put them the way I've put them here: two into uh, infantry and one into artillery. I kind of want one in separate equipment, but uh, infantry. Well, uh, okay. Frankly, infantry equipment is our biggest issue right now, so let's uh, just put it all here. We'll need to buy some uh, some steel though. Right, national industry. Uh, wait, this one I put five here. Oh, never mind. Uh, oh, that's for whatever reason I thought that's uh, three factories. I mean, now it shows two, but I'm pretty damn sure that uh, when you when it's not complete, it it shows like two here and one here, or the other way around. The thing is, maybe a bug, or I'm losing my mind. I'll I'll check it later. Just starting a new game, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Ah, uh, now we can either go with, uh, for five percent of that straight away, or simply go for uh, research slot. And I think we are going to go for research slot this time around. Alright, uh, let's discuss the rest of this tree though. So, uh, this is very similar to, to this one, so you simply switch the government just like a few, few weeks later. And this one is actually quite useful because it, it gives you plus 5% factory output. So you could theoretically uh, just go for it and um, well actually you can you cannot just go for it and then get uh, um, go to access because it's similar like here effect removes constitutional guarantees and this on the other hand is just terrible it reduces the population bonus you get from uh, getting that sentinel of the motherland or whatever uh, yes, sentinel of the motherland and add some Useless, useless uh, things such as uh, lower effects of partisans, foreign subversive actions, efficiency. Well, I, I, I guess if you're on the defensive, then division division attack on core territory would be nice, but plus five percent, which is definitely not worth it. So we are simply not gonna continue. So this is basically as far as we go. We are not going to force abdication because this the the penalty you get for it is atrocious. You get uh, one year of additional fifteen percent consumer goods uh, factory required, and you are uh, on top of that you are wasting a lot of political power. So our way of uh, removing our uh, beloved king is going to be a coup uh, with uh, Prince Michael at helm. There we go. We still haven't changed our um, our loss, so we'll keep uh, simply building uh, infrastructure around here. Would love if you just you know redeployed it instead of wasting your you know getting attrition and shit. Let's actually, see how how much have we lost to attrition. Well, it's not terrible, but uh, okay. I guess it's a little bit of my fault now when I think about it. I should have 
just simply put you here. You wouldn't be going through the mountains. All right. Okay, so this justification is due to finish on uh, 18th of July this year. This one on the 10th of November. All right. And this is <laughs> oh, and the bug log is yeah, only gonna go away in two years, so one year and three years, yes. So that's kind of why I need at least one more year. No, it's, I think we kind of want it this way. Windows tanks are kind of useless at the moment because, uh, well, we do have those. We have a single division, which is like not the worst division ever created. At least we have motorized and light tanks. But uh, first of all, we do not have army experience, and second of all, we do not have motorized, and we we cannot we can build it. But uh, I mean, you can you can see how tight everything is. So we simply cannot afford it right now. So we're just stockpiling those tanks for the future. But many of them, I be, well, we have what one one hundred, so it's not that bad. All right, so improve the machine tools. Uh, we are of course going to wait those thirty days. Uh, all right, so and now the the whole thing changes. Well, not the whole thing, but what changes is uh, what are your negative uh, what what are your penalties? Negative bonus assignment <laughs> is uh, instead of. Uh, messing up with your production, with your construction, they are messing with your production. Minus, tw minus 25% of factory output is, uh, is awful and is going to, to hurt, our, uh, hurt our ability to you know, re, re arm very, very hard. Or we could uh, get, uh, we could lose 90 political power once again, but once again we cannot really afford it because, well, it's it will come again to bite us uh, shortly after. So uh, I don't, I really don't think you should, you know, uh, waste your political power here uh, so early on. We are now at 150, so we would be able to go to partial mobilization uh, shortly. Although we are almost at, um, let's see. Spiritual mobilization, I think the War of China is next, right? I mean, at least the... no, never mind. Oh, it's on May. Uh, so yeah, uh, threat... Threat can raise, rise here. Mm. Here we're of course gonna go with agrarian reform. So, the question is, are we going to wait for 15 world tension? Let's just see here. Oh, two, world, uh, two justifications were uh, 3.7. Uh, <laughs> no guarantees yet? Nope. This is gonna be uh, tight, but we'll see. Uh, So when we declare war, that should be, you know, a few percent. And this is in what, July or June? July, so two months. So in 70 days we can do that. Uh, now we have, what, seven, seven factories. Uh, not much of a difference, really. Okay, we'll, we'll wait. Difference here is uh, not that big, but it's uh, five percent less consumer goods and uh, construction speed is additional ten percent. So it's more of a long-term solution. There we go. Mm. Mm. 
No, I think it's time to, to start working on the doctrines again. Yeah, and yes, we are not picking the, uh, the terrorist guy yet. Although, once again, <laughs> mm, two months, uh, that's what, uh, 17? No, we wouldn't be uh, be able to get that on time, so yeah, let's, let's just pick uh, do that without terrorists. Theories. Um, so now the combat thing. So uh, definitely radio, artillery. Of course, a nice thing to have, but uh, not quite yet. Um, uh, same goes for recon companies. We don't have support equipment for them. I think we'll, we'll simply uh, get uh, those support weapons since we will be fighting just a little bit. Mm. One one thing we can gain from uh, just saving it up is that we can probably just. Uh, eat uh, the next minus 90 and not suffer for it too much. So that's probably gonna be the the way to go there. Okay, agrarian reform. Uh, this is, well, just free infrastructure in territories where there isn't much uh, there aren't many things to be built anyway so uh, Banat, Marenia and Olenia so but well we have to go through it there will be an interesting choice here though uh, we can either get civilian factories or we can get uh, we can invite foreign motor companies uh, which I believe is going to, uh, on top of having fairly useless uh, design company to pick from, let's actually uh, show them off. Uh, that's right here. So it's um, this. So Vauxhall, for example. It's uh, if we invite British motor companies, uh, our motoriza motorization research speed uh, will be. Instead, and our motorized speed will be plus five, which in our case, since we already have researched our trucks, this is just uh, going to affect our mechanized infantry. A me mechanized infantry that we'll probably not gonna ever uh, use anyway, so eh. Uh, but additional bonus is plus 10 to um, the uh, considerations when we, when we, uh, when we request a, a license, which, uh, uh, will be enough to put us over the over the limit here and allow us to to to, to get some uh, some fighters and uh, some bombers going so uh, and as well as some tanks so uh, this is uh, I think uh, we'll go on that over those two civilian factories here. All right, so we finished that. They are not guaranteed quite yet, and they are not guaranteed quite yet. Uh, I don't actually remember. I will have to check what is the requirement. I, I will check that uh, between the episodes. Uh, I don't remember what is that wall tension requirement uh, for guarantees, because uh, for democracies, I mean. And because if it's well longer than uh, what we have now, uh, we will have to wait and uh, get the. Uh, well, if it's higher than 15, for example, if it's 15, then we need to wait and declare both wars at the same time, because then they will, will declare one, they will guarantee and so on and so forth. So that would be uh, less than ideal. Uh, yeah, but we are out of time, so we are going to decide this in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and... I hope to see you next time.